This is Solid Signal's exclusive unboxing of the new Televez DigiNova Boss UHF VHF antenna. This antenna is new to the United States but very established in Europe where over the air reception is much more important. Combining a compact design with UHF and VHF reception, a Boss Tech passive amp which I'll explain later, and superior build quality, I'm very excited about this particular antenna. But let's not just talk about it. Let's crack it open. This is relatively simple retail packaging and honestly it's pretty normal for things to settle a little bit when you do first get it. It's because there's no styrofoam in there and you have to have recyclability in Europe. You do get a nice owner's manual and you got this box over here that I think holds the power supply. We'll get into that in a minute. You've got a bag which basically has the clamps and the stuff that you'll need there. I'm going to put that aside for a moment. We're going to take a look at the actual antenna itself. This is the antenna and the first thing that you see is this big Televez name of course. But also you're going to see in this nicely composed insert shot that the back has got this kind of metal cross to it which is where the clamp goes. And this is really it's kind of innovative because it's so well built. Okay. On to the live unboxing. This is the top of the antenna, and this is the bottom, the side that you'd see if you were standing on the ground. It doesn't seem like it would make sense to put the label on the bottom until you realize, well, hey, when you're on the ground, you see that. Opening up this nifty little orange box, you're going to see the actual power supply unit. You've got the power cord, the power supply itself, which you're going to go back to some prepared photography to show that to you, and of course the instruction manual for the power supply unit, which you would think would not take a lot of instructions, but in fact, it does. Going back to the stuff that I shot in the studio, you can see you've got one input and two outputs with this power supply unit, meaning that it can feed two televisions at the same time. And taking a nice close look, you can really begin to see the build quality here. This is the power supply, and you get a lot of metal. You get a really nicely built piece of equipment here where a lot of places would just give you a plastic wall ward. This is what you get when you get Televez. It's a lot better quality. You can see the power supply opens up to show the power supply unit and then you can close it and never really look at it again if you don't want to see it. The poly bag has this U-bolt, a clamp to hold this onto any standard mast, a couple of screws, a rubber boot so that the cable itself doesn't get wet, and this cute little wrench, which you can see from studio photography is much better built than it really needs to be considering you're going to use it once. It's nice though because the bolts are metric and you may not have a set of metric wrenches laying around. Now this is where a normal unboxing video would end, but would we do that to you? No way. At Solid Signal, we're committed to going the extra mile, or if it's a European-made antenna, the extra kilometer to show you the stuff that nobody else is going to show you, which is why we got a second antenna that we had permission to open up, tear apart, and show you the cool stuff inside. You ready to go? I know I am. A lot of antennas would be held together with spring clips or tabs, not this bad boy, eight stainless steel screws. And instead of making you watch the whole thing in real time, I'm going to speed it up to the point where we get to where we want, which is, of course, where we crack it open. After a little bit of work, I'm ready to take the radome off. They call it a radome because it's transparent to RF transmissions, kind of like the dome on a radar unit. But I'm ready to take the top off to show you what we got inside. High quality epoxy board throughout. Even on this front piece, which is basically a director, it's not connected by a metal to anything else. All it does is focus the waves on the antenna portion, which is on the back. Let's take a closer look at the antenna portion, which pulls out, held together with Phillips head screws. You've got a dipole there. You've got a Yagi assembly here. And you've got the balen and antenna part connected to the back. Using a precision screwdriver, I'm going to take the balen and amplifier portion off just to show you, even though I'm not going to crack it open, that would probably utterly destroy it. Here again, you see solid steel construction on this bad boy. Let's get a closer look. I'm going to stop for a minute and talk about this otherwise uninteresting looking piece of metal because this is not only the amplifier but also the balen. The amplifier itself is passive, meaning that it will work even if it is not powered. It will not amplify, but it will pass signal, which is pretty revolutionary. Most antennas don't do that. The other thing is, with auto gain control, it's going to provide the maximum amount of amplification without overdriving. The last piece I want to show you is this metal collar, because this thing is solidly built. I mean, this is steel. 
This looks like it's been sandblasted to look nice. I mean, honestly, what else could you ask for? All in all, this is the most exciting antenna that I've unboxed in a long time, and I've unboxed an awful lot of antennas. Performance is good, and most importantly, this is the kind of antenna you can put up on your roof and just not worry about from year to year. That's not always true of other antennas. And look, I'm not judging. If you want to get a very inexpensive antenna, Solid Signal sells those, and you're just not sure if you're going to do this cord cutting thing, do that. But if you want an antenna that's going to last a long time, going to meet HOA rules, and really going to give you the performance that you deserve, take a look at the Televez DigiNova Boss.